let's uh, let's try a couple of the fun things now. Let's take a look at them. Um, one thing in particular. Let's look at talk um, in, in some of the new video features that it brings to the table. As you can see, um, there's a there's a lot of uh, nice video features, and I'm going to show them from my my other phone to the Zoom, so you can see the features in action. Okay. Um, so some of the fun things that um, the Zoom brings to the table are some nice like map things that you would you would think of. So you can it does a uh, big eyes. Which is kind of cool, but the nice thing is it actually analyzes the video. So, for instance, if I'm hiding my eyes, it's not going to make anything big. But once they show, it's going to make your eyes big. So that's that's really cool. And as other people join in, it will make their eyes big as well. So it's unique in the fact that uh, it does kind of the processing on the fly. So, there, you know, there's a lot of options here that kind of work really well. Okay, well, and just so you can see them, they're right up here at the top. Um, and you can see big eyes, big mouth, small mouth, big nose, small eyes. But you also have this ability to put things in your background, similar to the Mac. So we're gonna, we're gonna go back to that, okay? And, uh, and I'll show you sort of what those look like. So let's, uh, so first you have to um, enable it, and then just step out of the view. And then once it starts showing the picture, you can stop back in the view. And there you go. So it's kind of cool, you can put yourself in like the background of pictures and so forth. Um, here's their disco setting, you know, I'm not going to dance for you. but cool little features that is also integrated with the video, and we'll check them out, but added to chat. So it's a nice, nice little polish. So while we're on that, let's uh, take a look at the camera. It's been, it's been redone a little. Um, so there's a little zoom over here. As you can see, the front camera's right on, and it's looking at the camera. Um, but you can easily switch between the two by pressing this button. Of course, it's facing the table right now, so not much with the uh, the uh, the real good camera. But as far as um, settings, you just click here, and um, depending on which camera you have, you have a couple options. Um, for the front-facing one, there's no flash or anything like that. Um, let me just, uh, I'll go to, um, I'll switch to the front facing one, just so you can see all of the options with the front facing. This is nothing really groundbreaking here. This is stuff that's already been here. Um, however, on the video, there's a couple of nice things. First off, um, again, it is, uh, those face, so you, you can see you have options for doing the big eyes and so forth. And it will process your eyes and those things, as you saw. Um, and also you can do the background. So things like that are nice. Um, but also there's time lapse, which is really, really, really nice. And what time lapse is, is basically Capturing your moment at a set interval, you can set an interval from as low as one second all the way up to 10 seconds. And then it will kind of combine it into this um, kind of movie of what was taken at that instant at every second interval. So it's really, really cool and you should check it out. It's, uh, you know, when you're driving somewhere or you just want to see what's happening, maybe cleaning your bedroom, for instance, and seeing how it goes from cha chaotic to uh, clean, in my case. Um, so things like that are nice welcome. All right, so let's take a closer look at time lapse. Um, I'm now just zooming in on my Zoom, which is now going to perform a time lapse video. All you have to do is go into the video portion, and of course, 
um, go over here and you can see we can set it to a time lapse. We're going to do one second for effectiveness. Um, and I'll start the recording. Okay. Now let's see if I can get my... Willow! Willow! Okay, so short little boring time lapse video. Now let's see it come together on the zoom and play it. All right. As you can see, it's strung together. And it's kind of cool. So, you can have your Zoom being sitting something and just watch the whole day unfold in a couple of minutes. So, that is time lapse for you. I wanted to reset up so better for displaying panoramic mode. So we're in the camera app, going to panoramic mode right there on the bottom, and it's as simple as pressing the green button to start right here. Now that we're there, a little display shows on the bottom that you can basically tells you how much of a percentage of your panorama you've taken. Um, and all you have to do is just start moving to the left or the right and you'll see that blue bar is showing where you're focusing and uh, how much of your panorama you've taken. Now if you go too fast um, it will tell you and you'll have to, to slow down and when you're done all you have to do is press the stop button. It will generate that image and as you can see you have a nice panoramic image just like that. You don't need to take multiple images. It's just one little stream moving from the left to the right or the right to the left, up, down, it does a very, very effective job. So I hope this um, shows you a really, really nice way of taking panoramic shots on ice cream sandwich. While we're on shots, there are a couple of cool things that you can do, for instance. One is taking screenshots, um, and it's now stock with the zoom. All you have to do is press the volume up, and um, the power button at the same time, excuse me, volume down and the power button at the same time. And it will um, take a picture and then you can, uh, of your screen and then you can view it. Pretty cool stuff. Now while we're at the gallery, let's take a, a look at the gallery. It's also been slightly redone. It's a now a very wide focus panels and um, it's pretty, pretty sharp and modern looking. Um, so it's a lot more um, filling the screen and taking advantage of the screen real estate. Um, a couple of cool things is it includes now an onboard image editor. So you just go to the options up here and you can go to edit and you can do cool things um, like highlight, you can undo your changes up at the top, you can emphasize shadows if you wanted, um, you can polarize, Cross process, documentary, you can create a nice uh, vignette, 
if you want. Um, you can create a negative if you want. You know, it's you can doodle. So crop um, and a couple other uh, take care of red eye, sharpen, flip, rotate. You know, very nice standard things, but all integrated into the OS. So a very welcomed um, experience. Okay, moving right along, let's go check out email. Email is just, again, slightly polished. You have the new font, um, but overall it's the same old same um, here. And um, it's just a, a very much more sharper, streamlined experience. You know, with the ability to copy and paste text in your mail now, um, it's uh, it's great. Um, the calendar, again, very, very similar, streamlined experience. It's just, you know, sharpened up a little from the one prior. Um, I'm not going to get too much in, into those details. Um, actually, now, moving right along. There's a couple interesting um, little things left. So, one really nice thing is the browser is just much smoother on websites. Um, it's loading much faster when you're scrolling through. It transitions better. If you can recall in the um, honeycomb, or if you have honeycomb to compare with you right now, when you're moving through, usually when it's stuck, you know, it, it, you get a white screen, and then when you stop, it appears. But here, it's very nice, it's very smooth, and it transitions very nice. Um, so a, a very, you know, very, very, very great experience. And you really don't know what you're missing until you try it out. Um, and see this this working and it's magic because it's uh, absolutely phenomenal now to go through pages. Um, I, I think the biggest the biggest one of the biggest culprits in my experience is looking at forms and having to scroll through the forms and having to wait a second for the information to load. Um, and now it's just a very smooth experience once the page is loaded you can just scan down whereas before you would never be able to do this well that concludes the overview for now if you have any additional questions anything else that you would like to see as far as ice cream sandwich is concerned with the tablets let me know and um, I'll be uh, more than happy to answer questions or if it's worthwhile show a video on that but for the most part, I think I did a comprehensive job in showing most of the key features in Ice Cream Sandwich now on the tablets. Thank you so much, everyone. Have a great day. Um, as always, you can follow me on Facebook, Google+, check out my blog, and uh, always give me feedback. Thank you so much.